Hello and welcome back to Johnny Benny Campus News. I'm Ben Bugby. And I'm Taisha Gray. In today's episode, we bring you the latest updates, news and events happening around campus. Let's dive into the headlines shaping campus life. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's headlines. This is Johnny Benny Campus News. Following up on our coverage from last week, St. Ben's and St. John's are set to make history as the first colleges in Minnesota to be featured on the college tour. Don't miss the chance to be a part of this unprecedented occasion by attending the premiere at Escher Auditorium in the Benedicta Arts Center at CSB. The event takes place on Thursday, February 8th, with the festivities kicking off at 6.30 p.m. with a red carpet entrance followed by the premiere watch party at 7 p.m. Stick around for all community after party at 8 p.m. It's an evening that you won't want to miss. So stay tuned for exclusives with Johnny Benny Campus News coverage on this event. The window of opportunity is now wide open for the Fall 2024 UN Climate Conference Embedded Study Abroad Program. And you won't want to miss your chance to be a part of this transformative experience. Set against the backdrop of global climate action, this program promises an immersive journey into the heart of sustainability discussions. Hurry, as the deadline for applications is fast approaching on February 23rd at noon. Seize this moment to be a catalyst for change and submit your application for a front row seat to the future of environmental leadership. Clemens Library is the place to be on February 2nd from 6.30 to 9 p.m. for an epic game night extravaganza. Whether you're into tabletop or video games, this event promises a night of pure gaming bliss. With food, prizes, and no sign-ups required, it's the ultimate gathering for Johnny's and Benny's. Mark your calendars and get ready for an evening of fun and friendly competition. Get ready to de-stress with some canine companionship. Therapy Dogs will be at CSB and SJU Libraries on Wednesday, February 7th from 7 to 9 p.m. Take a break, hang out with some cool dogs and let off some steam. It's a no-frills way to relax during the midweek hustle. Mark your calendars. The Eugene J. McCarthy Center is hosting a must-see event on Friday, February 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Handprints by Gre Greta Oglesby at the History Theater in St. Paul. Get ready for a powerful and vibrant autobiographical performance by one of Twin Cities' most renowned theater artists, Greta Oglesby. Don't miss the unique opportunity to witness a compelling story based on her book, Mama Mem, Handprints on My Life. Plus, transportation is provided. Sign up now for an unforgettable night at the theater. In a captivating nature experience, St. John's Outdoor University invites you to the Owl Hoot on Saturday, February 3rd from 6 to 8 p.m. at the New Science Center SJU. Dive into the fascinating world of owls as experts unravel the secrets of their amazing adaptations. Don't miss the chance to embark on a night hike in the Abbey Arboretum to observe and listen for these majestic creatures. Best of all, it's free for students, a perfect opportunity to connect with nature right on campus. Now, turning our attention to the weather, let's get our latest updates from Landon Monio for the Johnny Benny Weekend Weather Report. Thanks, Ben and Daisha, and welcome back to the Johnny Benny Weekend Weather Report. I'm Landon Monio, your weather reporter. Let's dive right in. This week's weather is great for us, but bad for the St. John's maple trees as the warm front we're experiencing is causing one of the earliest sap tappings in the history of the SJU Sugar Shack. Temperatures are up there with record highs for Collegeville. Historically, the temperature has hovered in the mid-40s with record lows of around negative 20 degrees. February's average temperature on record for Collegeville, Collegeville has been 15 degrees compared to our current average temperature, which has stayed in the mid-30s. This weekend, we'll start off partly sunny with a high of 40 degrees on Friday we can expect calm southeast winds of 10 miles per hour. As you head out on Friday night, skies will be mostly cloudy and the temperature will drop down to around 29 degrees. Let's take a look at Saturday. Saturday warms up to 44 degrees with mostly sunny skies and a southeast wind of 10 miles per hour. Saturday night is partly cloudy with a low of 28 degrees. 
there will be a southeast wind with speeds of 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we wrap up the weekend, Sunday brings mostly sunny skies with a high near 46 degrees. Expect an eastern wind at speeds of 5 miles per hour. Sunday night turns partly cloudy and temperatures will drop back down to 28 degrees. The northeast wind will stay at 5 miles per hour. The warm front we're having will lead into next week, with temperatures sliding up to the high 40s with partly sunny skies and a high wind speed of 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that's all for this weekend's weather. I'm Landon Monio, and this has been your Johnny Benny Campus News Weekend Weather Report. Remember to stay safe, warm, enjoy our early spring, and have a fantastic weekend. Thanks as always, Landon. Shifting gears, let's now head over to our sports reporters, Brendan and Chloe, who bring you the latest highlights in the world of sports on the St. John's and St. Ben's campuses this week. Thanks, Ben and Daisha. I'm Brendan Amaris. And I'm Chloe Moore. And welcome back to the Johnny Benny Sports Roundup, your source for updates on Johnny and Benny sports. Brendan will be starting us off with CSB basketball, who have won the last two games in a row. The Bennies won 74-68 at home over Augsburg last night. Senior guard Carla Meyer scored 18 points and grabbed 7 rebounds. Meyer was 7 of 11 from the field and 4 for 7 from 3. Sophia Jonas scored 16 points. She now has 770 points in her career. She was 4 of 9 from 3-point range and now has 179 career 3-pointers. She sits just one away from tying Michelle Barlow for second all-time in school history in made threes. With the victory, CSB is now fourth in the MIAC with an overall record of 11-7. Benny Basketball stays at home this weekend, facing St. Scholastica on Saturday, February 3rd at 1 p.m. with a quick turnaround to place Concordia College Monday, February 5th at 7 p.m. in Claire Lynch Hall. Next up is Benny Hockey, who had a tough outing last Saturday. The Bennies traveled to Augsburg this past Saturday. They scored two goals in the second and third period, but dropped the road decision as Augsburg scored six goals. The Bennies are now 7-10-2 and 3-7-2 in the MIAC. St. Ben's stars of the game were Emma Rooks and Chloe Lewis. Rooks led the Bennies with two goals. Those bring her sixth and seventh goals of her career. She had five shots on goal. Chloe Lewis assisted on both of Rooks' goals, with those being her second and third of the season. Brooklyn Johnson tallied her first career assist. Now back to Brendan with Benny in track and field. Last Saturday, January 27th, the CSB indoor track and field team hosted the CSB SJU meet. Sophomore Jalen Alberg captured the pole vault title at the meet in Collegeville by vaulting a personal best of 3.61 meters. Next up for Alberg and the Benny's indoor track and field team will be competing at the Gopher Classic on Saturday, February 3rd in Minneapolis. Now Chloe will switch us over to Johnny Sports, starting off with SJU Swim and Dive. Johnny Swim and Dive is coming off of a 156 to 144 win against Carlton on January 20th, putting the Johnny's record at 2 and 1. SJU ended up winning 11 of the 16 events. Sophomore Braden Slavic led SJU with 3 wins in the 500 freestyles and 400 yard individual medley. Looking forward, SJU competes at the Gustavus Challenge on Friday, February 2nd and Saturday, February 3rd. The swimming competition starts with Session 1 at 5 p.m. Friday and resumes at 11 a.m. Saturday for the second session. Back to Brendan with wrestling. Johnny Wrestling continued their successful season, recording five pins, including a new program record for freshman Owen Herbst in a 44-6 win over Minnesota West last Saturday, January 27th. Freshman Connor Kruger secured his seventh straight win in just 18 seconds at 141 pounds. Fellow freshman Chris Castro posted a 20 to 11 major decision in the 157 pound weight class. The Johnnies travel to compete at Wisconsin Eau Claire's Don Parker Open at 10 a.m. next Saturday, February 3rd. Next up is Johnny Basketball. The Johnnies traveled to Augsburg, clinching their 30th appearance in the MIAC playoffs. Shooting 52% from the field, the Johnnies built a 23-8 lead in the first half and went into halftime up 41-29. The Johnnies ran away with the game, going on a 9-0 run to end the second half, 81-67, moving to a 14-1 overall in the MIAC. Junior Luke Budson led St. John's with a career high of 23 points, 
eight boards, and two blocks. Five of his buckets were dunks, including two posters, which silenced the crowd. Senior Ryan Thyssen added 17 points, six rebounds, and five assists. Now back to Brendan with Johnny Hockey, who fell to Augsburg last Friday. After beating the Aggies at home last Thursday, the Johnnies fell 2-1 to in Minneapolis the next day. Everything looked good early when sophomore defenseman Mason Campbell scored his third goal of the season 22 seconds into the game. It's the Johnnies' fastest goal since November of 2021. Seniors Lewis Crosby and Max Borse picked up assists on the goal. Unfortunately, things went downhill from there. Augsburg tied it up at the 6th minute and 22nd mark. Then after a scoreless second period, the Aggies scored the game winner with 7.15 to go. It was a controversial goal as Augsburg Eric Palmquist scored while colliding with Johnny goaltender Bailey Uber. Looking forward, the Johnnies take on St. Mary's in Winona tonight, February 1st. Next, Chloe will wrap up this week's sports roundup with Johnny Track and Field. St. John's Track and Field started its 2024 season last weekend, winning nine of the 14 events against Minnesota Morris on Saturday, January 27th. Senior Tommy Allen took first in the second heat to win the mile run in 4 minutes, 27 seconds, and 60 milliseconds. Allen crossed the finish line less than a second in front of sophomore Nick St. Peter. Senior Jaden Frost claimed second in the 35-pound weight throw with a distance of 15.25 meters. The Johnnies compete at Division I Minnesota's Gopher Classic at 11 a.m. next Saturday, February 3rd in Minneapolis. That will wrap up this week's Johnny Benny Sports Roundup. Good luck to all the Bennies and Johnnies competing this week. Thanks as always for watching. Now back to you, Ben and Daisha. Thanks as always to Brendan and Chloe for delivering the latest updates on Johnny Benny Sports, keeping us all up to date with campus sports and activities thanks to their excellent coverage. And with that, we wrap up another week's edition of Johnny Benny Campus News. We appreciate your viewership. Join us again next week for the latest in campus updates, noteworthy news, and upcoming events. Your ongoing support is crucial. So make sure to let your friends know where they can stay up to date with the latest on Johnny Benny Campus News. And be sure to check us out on Instagram at CSBSJU underscore JB Media. As always, I'm Ben Bugby. Also join us next week for a special on-location report of the Campus Tour Premier event. And I'm Daisha Gray. We'll see you next week.